<laughs> Stay tuned for Aragon Detective. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. Today, we're going to take the mystery out of the Hassan Mod 125 sniper rifle. And what did I do for you guys? I didn't just provide you with one caliber. I provided you with all three, 0 .177, 0 .22, and .25. So hey, before we get started, do me a favor, hit the little subscribe button down below there. And uh, if you'd like to be notified of the new videos coming out, you know the routine, hit that little bell. And please, thumbs up are always great. We appreciate seeing those. Okay, so we've got three rifles here. Let's kind of go one at a time. So we've got a little bit of room to work here. All right. Okay. In all fairness, we'll start with a smaller caliber and work our way up. The .177 in... Uh, the 22, they're in the same finish. They have this camo, camo look to them. But uh, yeah, they make this in uh, three calibers, as we said, um, the .177, 22, and 25. The gun weighs about nine pounds without the optics. Um, they all have the two-stage quattro trigger, which is actually a pretty nice trigger. Um, they have the adjustable cheek. Uh, rest, which is kind of nice. It's an ambidextrous stock, so whether you're right-handed or left-handed, this will work out for you. They have the uh, weaver slash uh, dovetail rail. I never realized that we were in like a total fly zone until I started filming these, and all of a sudden I hear all these planes going by, so I apologize for any of the background noise, but I can't control that. So anyway, this is the 177 caliber one. Uh, does not come with this optics. The downfall with these, they all come with this cheap little optic right here. It's a um, three by nine by 32, non-adjustable objective, which is not good if you're shooting. It's a, I didn't even use this. These, I just kind of discard those and, and then go on to something that I think that's gonna work quite well with the gun. Okay, that's the 17 caliber. The 22 is pretty much identical. I don't have, a whole lot to say different about this one. Um, I did put my bipod rails on these because they really like to be shot off that. Remember, stable platform. But um, this is the camo finish. It's got the nice rubber inlays pieces here and in the back. And then they also have um, the nice cushiony bud plate. And then they come with the um, three spacers in there so you can adjust the depth of the stock for you which is kind of nice and they also come with um, some swivels on there for a, a sling if you if you want to do that type of thing they all have a um, a barrel shroud and actually this is a suppressor as well these are all backyard friendly they really are and then they come stock with the uh, the open sights and they're the true glow you got the green in the back, and then you got your little red in the front. So all three of these models, doesn't matter what caliber, they're all basically the same. Same gun, same gun, just with a different barrel. Now, the 25 caliber I have here, it's just in black. So if you wanted to put, have it in black. So your options are either black or the camo color. But uh, they're all terrific guns. Um, Trying to think if I'm leaving anything out here for you, but let's just uh, take them out, let's test them, and then when we're done, we can come back and uh, talk about it later. All right, stay tuned for the next segment. Okay, we got our Hassan Sniper 125. This is our 177 caliber. We're going to shoot five shots over the Crony, and I'm going to be shooting these uh, Crossman Premier, the 14.3. Let's just see what type of velocity we get. We'll shoot five over the Crony. Hopefully, the Crony won't act up. All right, that looks like 11.36 to me. Here's shot number two. 11.25. Shot number three. 11.34. Shot number four. Whoa, 1173, that one jumped up there. And let's do shot number five. Let's 
1144. So there's your uh, Hudson 125.177. Let's move on and try the 22 caliber, see what type of velocity we get out of that one. All right, now for the 22 caliber of the Sniper 125 Hudson. And we're going to shoot the Crossman Premier 14.3 grams. And let's see what type of velocity we got here. We'll try to shoot five shots and uh, see how we do. All right, shot number one. Error. Of course there's an error. Why would there not be? Let's try this again. Okay, 907. Shot number two. 967. Tell me that's not a jump. Now I haven't shot these guns in a while, to be honest with you. <clears throat> So, shot number three, 9.43, do two more, okay, shot number four, 8.96, this one is all over the place. Now, I don't have very many rounds to this one, I'll be honest with you, so let's see what our next shot is, and our final shot, 9.07. So there's our 22 caliber, and as I said, I don't have a whole lot of shots through this gun. I probably have less than 300 shots through this one, so you're obviously, um, it's going to be a standard deviation is going to change there a lot till it smooths out. Anyway, let's try the 25 caliber, see where we're at. We're going to try our 25 caliber over the crony, see what type of feet per second we get. We're going to use just the 20 grain um, field target trophies, and uh, see what type of velocity we get. Okay, shot number one. Error. Of course there's an error. We start off every time with an error. Why could there not be an error? All right, let's try this again. Okay, 785. All right. 777. Shot number three here. 709. Shot number four. That was an error. Now well, let's just do one more. And that should give us a good average. These cronies are so light sensitive. Alright. Error again. Come on, we need one more. There we go, 772. So you see the average there. Anyway, um, not bad performances out of any of them. Let's move on to the next segment. Now we're gonna test the accuracy of our Hassan 125s. We'll start with the 25 caliber one. We're gonna be shooting the uh, exact King Diablos. These weigh 25.39 grams, so it's a pretty heavy pellet. We're our usual 20 yards out, so we're gonna see how well we do our grouping. Hey, just to clarify something, because um, I've had some questions from some, some of you. Do you know if you took this gun and you locked it in a vise so it absolutely would not move, and then you fired it five times, you could not get five pellets to go through the same hole in these particular type of guns. They can't. There's too many factors that go in, that are involved with air rifles. You've got wind velocity. You've got the different pellets. If one of these little skirts on a pellet gets a little nick in it, it'll throw it off slightly. So that's a very, very difficult task. So our goal is to get the gun as steady as possible. That's why I like shooting off these bipods, because it really it, it makes it steady. But even if I aim at the very exact same spot, and there's very few guns that are going to put the same pellet through the same hole at 20 yards. It's just not going to happen. But let's see anyway. Let's see how well we do here with our 25 caliber. Let's just take five shots. And uh, I changed up your targets just a little bit just for fun. Tried some red diamonds just to see how those work out. Anyway, let's see what we got here. That's one. That's yeah, funny. Uh, we were talking about the different triggers on this. The trigger on this is, God, it's under three pounds. It's just terrific. I didn't do anything to it.
There's two. And three. Four, and one more. And five. Not a bad group, but let's move on. Let's try our 22 next and see how well it does. Okay, we're gonna try out our 22 caliber Hassan 125 sniper now. We'll see how well it groups. I gotta be honest with you, a little windy day today. Um, we got what we call the Santa Ana's around here. And I got a big cross breeze. I'm protected by a building here to my left, the house, but there's a walkway on the very north end of it, right in front of my target. And <laughs> it's a big gust of winds coming through there. So let's see how well we do. We've kind of bumped up our weight of pellets. We're going to do an 18.13 grain pellet. Um, that's the uh, JSB, um, the heavy jumbo, the Diablos. So let's just see how well they did. Let's just shoot five shots. And hopefully we can have some decent grouping. No promises here. and four and one more we're not doing too bad considering the wind I'm telling you that cross breeze that's coming through there all right there's five shots from our 22 caliber now let's move on and do the .177 Okay, now our final accuracy test. We're going to see how the 17 caliber does. Again, windy, so I bumped up the weight of pellets. We're going to use the Barracuda match, the 10.65 grain pellets. Do five shots, as usual, and see what type of grouping we get. So far, the other two did not disappoint. All right. one and two and three And four. And five. That one kind of fell down a little bit. Could have been me. Who knows? All right. Anyway, quite respectable. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, I'm going to test all three of the triggers on each model. We're going to start with the .177, and let's see what type of pool weight we get. Funny thing, all these triggers are stock. I haven't done anything to them except adjust them with the screws that are there. Okay, that was four pounds, 4.3 ounces. Four pounds, 4.3 ounces. Okay, let's try the, let's go with a 22 next and see what type of weight we get on that one. Let's check our weight on our 22 caliber. It's funny, they're all the same models. They all have stock triggers. And I've adjusted them with the screws that are there. They haven't done any, any alterations to them whatsoever. 
So let's see the difference in each one of these. All right. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Three pounds, 14 ounces. All right. Let's move on. Let's try our 25 okay, caliber and see where we're Let's try the trigger weight on our Hassan 25 caliber. And again, I have not done anything to these triggers, so let's just see where we're at. Two pounds, 3.2 ounces. Now, I have shot the 25 caliber a little bit more than the others, so maybe the trigger's breaking in time, in time but what a great trigger under three pounds. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, now the plinking portion of this. Rather than using all three guns, I'm just gonna shoot the 25 just for time purposes. But they all shoot well at 40 yards, trust me. I've tested them many a times. But we're just gonna shoot the 25 caliber today. And we're a full 40 yards back. Let me show you what that looks like. All the way up there. Yeah, those four targets. We got our favorite Diet Coke, the little piggy. A little egg on the end, so let's see how well we do there. So, we're going to be shooting, once again, we're going to be shooting the, the JSB Diablos, the 25.35 um, or 39 grain pellets. And let's just see how well we do at 40 yards. Let's start with the exciting target first. Let's start with the Coke. Because if I hit the metal target, odds are I'm going to poke a little hole in that Coke can. So let's see. I'd say that was a hit. Okay. There goes the little pig. And our little pipe, and can we say goodbye to the little egg? And I would say that was a direct hit. There you go. There's your uh, 25 caliber Hassan sniper in action at 40 yards. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion. You saw how well these rifles performed, um, whether it be the .177, the 22, or the 25. The big difference in these guns, and the only difference actually, is the barrel. Everything else is exactly the same. The only thing different is the barrel. You could, in a sense, you could change barrels out on these. But you can see what um, the different velocities do. Now, let me get one of these out of the way here. So, what we uh, talked about was the manufacturer, they claimed what the feet per second on these were, like the 17 caliber, they claimed it was 1250. Well, we actually got just under 12. We got, well, about 11, I think our high was 1144. But that's 22, 22 23 foot pounds of energy for a .177. That's pretty amazing. The 22 caliber, they claimed that was right around 1,000 feet per second. Well, we didn't use a light pellet. We used, I think, believe a 14.3 grain pellet. And we actually got a high of 967, which that's right between the 27, 28 foot pounds of energy rate. And then the 25 caliber, we did use a, a 20 grain pellet on that, but you saw we got our high on that was 785 feet per second. And uh, again, another 27, almost 28 foot pounds of energy. So they all performed really, really well. And then let's talk about the accuracy. They all shot pretty much identical. <laughs> the groups, they were anywhere between um, 0.41 and I think 0.47. So they all shot under half inch groups at 20 yards. So you can't go wrong on that. Now a little uh, something strange was the triggers. Each trigger seemed to be a little bit different. You saw the 25 caliber was, geez, over a pound lighter than the other ones. Why that is, I don't have an answer unless, except for the fact that I've shot it more, so it had more time maybe to break in the trigger. But those were completely stock triggers. I didn't do anything to them, just the standard adjustment screws. So, no, the Quattro trigger is not a bad trigger at all. So these things, these things performed quite well, quite well. 
but keep in mind that each pellet gun, and not, not just these guns, but any pellet gun you shoot, that specific gun can be very pellet picky for its own pellet. So in other words, we could have two identical guns from the manufacturer, and one of them might like a certain pellet a little better than the other one. And this one like like its own pellet. So that's a process you have to do. And that's why I said I go through a ton of pellets to try to figure out what's the best ones to shoot. So I can try to I try to give you guys the optimum for performance, you know, when I'm reviewing these things. And uh, that's the best I can do. Just like uh, someone questioned me about, well, how come you just don't show the guns completely stock? Well, the reason I don't is because I have modified and have tuned these up, but I want to show you what the potential that you can get out of these guns. Now, I showed you in the beginning the, like the cheap scope that these comes with, you know, the, the 3 by 9 by 32 you know, with a non-adjustable um, objective. That's not even worth my time even playing with it. So keep in mind, when you buy these rifles, if you at all uh, want to get performance out of them, you're going to have to upgrade the scope. But there's so many options out there and so many sales. And then again, I was shooting all of these off my bipod setup, which I can't tell you enough. And you see the performance on it. Because the key is, is trying to keep this gun as steady as possible through the entire recoil process. All right, so with that, let's wrap this up. And I'm going to give these four, four and a half stars. And the reason being is because they're extremely powerful and they're accurate. In addition to that, um, you know, these guns run probably right around $300. However, I'll be honest with you, I got the two cami ones, it was a little while back, but I got those on sale for under 200 bucks. So look around, you can find these things on sale, but they are really, really a great rifle. So with that, um, thank you for tuning in to Air Gun Detectives. This is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. And until next time, take care.